Hey Stampers, welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Beth, part of the Stamping Jill creative team, and I want to share with you today some packaging ideas that I've made using Stampin' Up! products. In our new annual catalog that just came out in May, we have some new product that you can use for packaging. And I love having cute packaging. I love kind of taking it a step farther, just a little bit of work extra to make that person that I'm giving a gift to feel extra special. The products that I've chosen to show you today are the scalloped craft treat boxes. They come just like this, packaged like this, but when you put them together and make them into something cute, here's what they can look like. For my, this has a little lid that comes off a great little size box and then the lid has that cute little scallop with the gold polka dot on it so cute I've chosen for my projects today to use the artistic dies and artistically inked stamp set this bundle of products is really really fun to work with and I love just the colors they've got the gold um, accents in there so I was able to use some gold foil so fun and so pretty. Just a cute little box to have on hand to give to somebody. The next one I want to show you is the Simply Classic Treat Boxes. They come just like this. They look a little deceiving. There's two parts to this, so let me show you what I made. Here's my cute little best wishes box. It has a little pull tab, a little ribbon that's already in there. And you just pull it and it's just this little teeny box. You can put anything fun in there. I just wrapped some designer series paper around here and just put a little sentiment and added a little bit of embellishment. Really, really simple, but just so cute and fun. And I think this is such a fun sized box. You could put a lot of really cute things in there. Okay, so I while I love those other two packaging products that we are carrying, I am so excited to show you the ombre gift bags. These ombre gift bags come in our five new in colors. Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. So pretty. They start with the darker, more saturated color and they gradate up to white. That's where the ombre comes from. And these are cute. All of our packaging is food safe um, and these are a really fun size. So let me show you one that I made with this. I just took that artistically inked paper, designer series paper, and let it do the work for me. And then I, I loved um, gold embossing for this. Happy birthday. And I didn't want to cover up the paper because I thought that was so cute. So I had to slide it under there. But it turned out really, really simple and really fun. I was looking through the catalog, though, and I saw a sample that Stampin' Up! had made where they had cut out part of the front of the bag and made a little window. So let me show you what I came up with here. I put the gold foil on the inside just so you could see that it's see-through, but I cut out a little piece of the bag using a rectangle die and made a little peekaboo. So you could put some treats in there or anything really and make it see-through. I thought it turned out so cute and I wanted to share with you how I did this so you could replicate it for yourself at home. So you're going to need a few products to be able to cut out that center of your bag. You're going to need a stamping cut and emboss machine or whatever die cutting machine you're currently using. You need the platform that it comes with. And then I used our mini cutting plates from our mini stamp and cut and emboss machine. They are the perfect size for this product. I'm gonna show you how. You'll need an ombre gift bag and you'll need the rectangle stitched dies. This is the size that I'm using. Let me show you. It falls right here. So it's like the third smallest in the little collection there, if that will help you. I'm sure you could use other ones too, but that's just the one I've chosen for the look that I'm going for today. Now, in order to make this work using your Stampin' Cut and Emboss machine, you want to use, you can't do this on the mini Cut and Emboss machine because it's too small to feed the bag through, but you need to be able to slide your die cut, your your plate, you need to be able to slide your plate inside your bag so that it doesn't cut all the way through to the other side, okay? And then you're gonna set that down on your stamp and cut and emboss machine and you're going to position your rectangle die, 
try to get it right in the middle of my bag because that's what I'm going for with my look and then I'm going to sandwich the smaller plate on top and I'm going to run it through and pull it all out here and voila you've got a little window in your bag you will have this little extra piece left over if you want to do something else with it you could always save it and use it i am not going to with this project so i'm just going to set it aside so we've got our little window but i want to show you how i put a little cover in here so that it's not just open i thought i could use window sheet um, but it was really thick for what i wanted to do I also thought vellum would look really, really cute, but I didn't make that. I wanted just something really clear and see-through, so I thought maybe our cello bags, but then I grabbed a clear envelope. I've got this here. We sell these clear envelopes. They come in a pack of 50, and they've got like a little adhesive strip here so you can seal the envelope down. I wanna show you how I took this envelope and made it work for the, a little cover for my inner bag. I'm just gonna take my Stampin' Trimmer and I'm gonna cut, I'm not very good with scissors. You could very easily do this with scissors, but I'm not very good at cutting straight with scissors. So I'm just gonna cut off here the top of my bag and then I'm gonna snip each of the sides off, just at the seams, because I just want one layer. So you're gonna have kind of little pieces that you're just gonna throw away. So I'm gonna trim the top and the bottom, or the the top with the adhesive on it and then the bottom and the sides just to make it so that there's no seams. So you can get two windows out of each little envelope. See, so I've got two. I hope you can see that. I know with the camera it probably doesn't help very well here. So you'll have two little spots to work with and then that's just going to fit right inside our bag to make that window all covered up just like that. I want it to adhere very, very well, so I'm going to take tear and tape and put that along the sides, and then I'm gonna give you just a few little pointers on how to um, put it in your bag, just so you can do it seamlessly and easily. Now this tear and tape likes to stick to stuff, but to these envelopes, it's a little bit less adherent. <laughs> So we'll see if, if it works on camera for me today. You just have to work with it a little bit. It's not rough or hard, but when you put it down on cardstock or um, designer series paper, it's not moving. And when I put it down on this, sometimes it starts to peel up. Oh, that worked okay. So then you're gonna peel off your little wax paper layer, just like that. Oh, and see that started to peel up. So I just kind of push it down with my fingernail there until I can get a part, there we go, that will come up without it. It wants to stay on, it just, likes to stick to stuff that's sticky and these little envelopes are just really really smooth they don't have much texture to them for them to stick to i did it on each side i didn't do it super tight because i figure i'm not going to have anything that's like going to spill out or um, seep through in the little paper bag so i just needed just a little you probably didn't even need to use as much as i did but there we go all right, so you've got your tear and tape on each side of your envelope there. Now, when you do slide it in, I like to hold it up like this because once that tear and tape does hit paper, it's not moving. So I, I fed it in and then I took my fingers that were inside and just fed it to the, all the way down. And then it didn't have to be perfectly straight for me um, just so long as the tear and tape is covering or is on the paper and then just press down, just like that. And you'll have your little window that now you can put a little treat there. Isn't that so fun? I love it. So let me show you this one again. I put a little gold foil piece in there so you can just see what you could do. You could put a note in there. You could put treats, always treats. That's what I love. Treats in there, something, a cute little gift. There's so many little things you could put in there. I have had so much fun playing with this new packaging that Stampin' Up! has in the annual catalog. I hope that you love it too. It also paired so well with the Artistically Inked bundle. And don't forget, if you get the dies and the stamp set, you save 10% when you put them together. 
Let us know if you have any questions about these projects. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.